Hello, and welcome to probably what's our last speculation and discussion video before X and Y come out next week. It's exactly Hell a yeah. week uh, from when this is recorded. And just a quick heads up, uh, credit where credit is needed for the pictures that appear in this video, because there's too many to know where they all exactly come from. I didn't actually get a chance to record half of the links where they come from, so don't get angry if I don't credit you right, because I don't know where the hell they came from. And today we have Mitch and Joss and Joss and Mitch. Hello. Um, we'll be talking Hi. about. What are we talking about? We're, we're talking about everything. Yeah, we're going to be talking about all the new Pokemon stuff that has come out a week before the, a week before the games have officially come out. So it's going to be very interesting. Okay, so um, just a quick mention: we're not. Uh, some stuff hasn't been confirmed by Nintendo, so we're not going to really talk about that stuff too much. A um, lot of it hasn't been confirmed by Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. But Most of them are just leaks. And also, just a little bit of a P PSA we're putting out there. Don't go looking for leaks unless you want to get Pokemon hounded onto your ass. Yeah. As in, like... Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway... So what do you guys want to talk about first? Why not start off with the final starter evolutions? Okay, so the final starter evolutions have come out, and what are the typings, guys? Water Dark, Fire Psychic, and Grass Fighting. What do you guys think about them and the designs awesome. that they've come up with? They have done awesome because not only are they one times weak to the one they should be, they're actually two times weak. Um, yeah. So, if, you know, Froakie ends up going to Water Dark, and that's, you know, water's good against fire, and dark's good against psychic. And then obviously fire's good against grass, and fighting is weak against psychic, and then fighting's good against dark, and grass is good against water. Mitch is walking to work, by the way, that's why he's going to start grass, there's nothing going on. I just so, walked up this massive hill. Um, they have hills in Texas? Too many. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, I don't know what actually Texas is like. Anyway, um, I, I don't know, I feel kind of the opposite. I mean, I like the typings, but I kind of wish they were the opposite way around. Just what do you mean? For, as in, like, they weren't, so, like, you know. Ah, just so you had, like, the polarizing, um, polarizing type circles. So, so like, rather than, uh, question, and the other been getting... Yeah. Yeah, like, rather than Chespin getting grass fighting, he gets grass dark instead. Yeah, and then, so, like, Fennekin, or like, you know, has, um, you know, one effective move against it, uh, which, yeah, it balances it out kind of thing, rather than, but then I guess this kind of does as well, since, like, there's nothing that's good against the other two, while the other two have to struggle against it kind of thing. No, you know... Fennekin's final evolution is going to have a hell of a time against Froakie's final evolution mm. because Psychic can't even hit Dark. Yeah, that's why they'll never Pardon be... Pardon the cast. That's cool. That's why they'll never be a, um... You know, that never be the primary types of the, um... Starters, because Psychic can't even touch Dark. Yeah. Um, it has to be, uh, not very effective against the triangle in the opposite way. And that kind of breaks it. Yeah. Pretty sure um, we've talked about that before, though. And, yeah. Hold on, I've got to get my thoughts on the whole thing. Yep, okay, go, go for it. Yeah, I, got low. I mean, I'm a bit of um, half and half. Admittedly, I do like where they've gone with the start, with the final evolutions. Though I don't exactly... Though I wouldn't exactly consider them my favourites at the moment. One thing I do oh, find... No. Well, one thing I do find really confusing is that a lot of the elements that they were hinting at when they were building up the evolutions seem to have disappeared when it came to their final evolutions. Not so much Fennekin and Brakeson. Brakeson. Um, what happened to the stick on it? What happened to the stick in his tail that he used as a wand? Well, I saw someone... Uh, it uses it normally, you know? It, it uses it free-flowing, like, like Dumbledore. Are you still here? No, I think he's so gone. Now we can talk about him. No, I'm just <laughs> okay. 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 So uh, Mitch is gone now. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I I'm with you. It's just Joss and me, by the way, now. But um, I'm with you. I don't understand why they didn't carry on the whole stick thing. But as I was reading, um, 
you know, it's like a wizard getting better at, like, it's gone from, like, a fox to, like, a witch to, like, a summoner kind of thing. Mm. So it's just able to summon fire and whatever. Yeah. Without the help of a instrument. Yeah. Panel through. So and that's, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that gets me is what we were just talking about was uh, Greninja's name and the tongue. Yeah. Which is confusing because when I look at when I look at Greninja, it's like I know that Toxicroak and even Krogunk were based off the whole poison dart frog kind of thing. But when I look at Greninja, I really do think dart frog for some odd reason. Yeah, I is the bubbles that have gone missing. That's yeah, the, and those like the pointy bits, triangles on the side of its head. Hmm. I don't know, I don't mind the triangle so much, but I think it's just the bubbles. I think it's just the fact that the bubbles are all gone that really irks me a bit about Greninja. But despite Greninja's and Delphox's flaws, I really like Ches- Chestnaut. I'm just putting that out there. Chestnaut is by far my favourite starter out of these, and I'm definitely going for Chespin when I get Pokemon X. Yeah, I'm thinking Chestnaut and Greninja. Um... Which I should talk about this now, if you don't mind. Um, when X and Y come out uh, in a week, um, I'm going to be doing a Twitch TV thing, and I'll be joined by most likely likely Joss, and just whoever wants to come hang out for about 20, no, it's like 48 hours, so I've got the whole weekend off. Mm. I'll probably be falling somewhere close to an all-nighter to play these games. Yeah. Um, so I haven't decided um, if I'm going to be playing X or Y yet. Um, probably Y, but if you guys want to see X played... Oh no, leave it in a comment what game you'd like to see played. and I'll put up a video when uh, whenever streaming starts. And yeah, come hang out. And if no one comes and hangs out, well, that's cool too. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah... Uh, Chestnut, I really do like. I'm all. I don't know. There's none of them. I, you know, look at them straight away, and it's just like, you know, I really, really want this Pokemon mm-hmm. kind of thing. I mean, the middle evolutions are awesome, but then the start, you know, the first stage is awesome, but their final evolutions just are a bit of a disappointment for me. I don't know. I think what I really like about them is that they did go with that classic RPG class route, especially with all the rumors going going on, talking about them being based off of RPG classes, and to see them actually go that route is very interesting. Yeah. I mean, I, I really like that incentive, and while I, I did say that I wouldn't consider them my favorite starters, I really do have to put them up there in, like, my top three sets of starters for each generation. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. They're cool, but, yeah, they're not They're not my favourite set of starters. But then again, I don't know what my favourite set of starters would be. Probably Sinnoh or Hoenn. Hmm. Um, Hoenn has to be my favourite starters, and... I don't know for my second, to be honest, though Hoenn has to be my first. Yeah, I mean, like, Sinnoh are like all the starters, especially Torterra. Yes. Um, but, I mean, Hoenn's got a Mudkip. That's I true. I think you can swap Mudkip. Nah. <laughs> and actually, on that topic, should I discuss what I was thinking we should do for the channel after X and Y? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so considering how Pokemon X and Pokemon Y are going to be coming out next week, and after that, admittedly, the hype is going to begin to dim down, one of the things I've suggested that we do for this channel is that each week we review either one or two Pokemon evolutionary lines. Rather than reviewing one Pokemon each, one Pokemon each week, we instead look at the evolutionary lines that they are from. So, like, one week we'll look at the Bulbasaur line, which includes Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur, as well as Mega Venusaur. And next week we may look at, say, the Beldum line, which will include Beldum, Matang, and Metagross, as well as the possibly rumored Met- Mega Metagross. So that should be awesome. And whether or not you guys would be interested in seeing us do that, please leave a comment in 
please leave a comment in the comment section below and yeah just give us your, your opinion on whether or not we should do that yeah i'm also thinking maybe we can get like you know uh people to leave a comment on what pokemon they would like to see uh hmm. in the week after um and then like uh whichever pokemon gets the uh, most either like thumbs up or whatever um we'd do hmm. uh unless it's been done before yes um yeah um going back to the starters well starters in general uh they've released charizard or mega charizard x hmm. um i don't know how i feel about him i mean it's cool but what about blastoise and Venusaur? yeah that's what i'm beginning to wonder as well whether or not mega evolutions are also going to be an extensive version exclusive thing I'm, it's like with Mega, it's like with Charizard getting a second Mega Evolution, I can sort of understand that considering how both Mewtwo and Charizard are really popular in the eyes of the old fan base. Yeah. But when you really get down to it, what makes them so special compared to the others? Why don't the others have other Mega Evolutions as well? So I'm wondering whether or not that might be a thing. And if that is a thing, will people really like that? I mean, I was fine with the idea of Mega Evolutions, but getting the idea that Pokemon may get multiple Mega Evolutions, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, I mean, like, the Mewtwo having one for each game, okay, that's okay, I guess, but oh, I don't know, it, it's like one kind of gets a bit of a, like, you know, an advantage against the other one. Like, you know, mm -hmm. one of them's got fighting while the other one just stays normal, or, you know, just yeah. psychic. Um, yeah, that's true. And in the same game is that Mewtwo gets the fighting type added to it. Uh, it's an X. Um, Charizard is now Fire Dragon. Yes. Now, granted, I do really like that typing. Yeah, no, that's an awesome typing. And I guess it kind of does balance it out since Charizard and Y does get drought, which is, you know, awesome for... It seems like they're going for a physical special split, since Charizard's, mm. uh, Mega Charizard X, um, is the ability. Um, I don't remember what the name of it is, but it increases, like, physical moves. Oh, from okay. what I understand. So I'm guessing, like, stuff like Dragon Claw and those kind of moves will get bumped up. Uh, it's called Tough Calls, which improves... Yeah, imp is that was weird. Um, mm -hmm. Improves the power of physical contact attacks, and it's a attack stat is increased. Yes. Now, actually, one thing I do have to bring up is like probably one of the things that many people talk about when it comes to Mega Charizard X is the fact that it deviates itself so much from Charizard. Not really so much in a shape, but more its color scheme. Yeah. So what's shiny Charizard? Yeah, that's very confusing to me. It's like, even with um, Mega Mewtwo X, he didn't deviate far from what um, the color scheme for the original Mewtwo looks like. But with Mega Charizard X, it's a little bit more confusing. It's like, I don't mind the blue fire so much, but why make him black? Yeah, I mean, like, if he just changed up the colors a little bit, then cool. But yeah, it's a completely recolor. And yeah. it's almost like it is. I don't. I know that shiny Charizard's orange goes to or red, whatever you want to call it, mm. goes to black. But I don't remember what the belly color is or something like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And I guess another thing that really threw me. Well, I wouldn't exactly say threw me for a loop. It's just. It's red and black. Yeah. So it's Wings go like crimson, and its belly goes like cream, mm. and then it goes a bit grey. Yeah, and yeah, I don't get it. It just seems really irksome. It's like if you're going to keep Mega Mewtwo Y and Mega Mewtwo X, keep the same color scheme as the original Mewtwo, why not do the same for the two Mega Evolutions for Charizard? Yeah, I don't know, man. It all seems a bit... Unneeded? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, I don't really know why it needs two Mega Evolutions, but that's just me. Yeah, um, who knows? 
Now, um, to finish off the episode, we have the two other evolutions that were revealed in Girls Magazine Chow. And they are the evolutions of fairy version exclusives, Swirlix and Spritzy. And I have got to say, I do not like these evolutions in the yeah, slightest. we have... Uh, what's that guy out of Ghostbusters? Uh, <laughs> Puff stuff? Yes, um, Mr. Right, Slurpuff. We got Mr. Slurpuff here. Yeah. And we also got Spritzy's Evolution, Aromatis. But uh, we were we were kind of wrong on the whole uh, thingy. Yeah, what and that called? Plague Doctor. Yeah, and Plague I Doctor. was so disappointed with it not becoming a Plague Doctor. I mean, for crying out loud. I mean, that would have been so... Fantastic, but no, uh, we got a really. It, it really does look like a. It really does look like one of those makeup bowls. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what exactly they are, but that's what it looks like to me, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not too. I don't like the design too much. It just seems. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I just generally don't like it. But I mean, yeah. And what really irks me is that the fans who made some really fantastic ev possible evolutions for these for these two were astonishing. Not all of them were like Plague Doctors for Spritzy's evolution, but mind you, some of them got really creative with possible evolutions and really took them a step far. Really took them really took them a step far, and I really would have liked to have seen. Game Freak do something like that, but what we got wasn't what we expected, and it's a little bit disappointing. Yeah. No, I'd have to agree with you on that. I was kind of expecting a bit more. Um, we also kind of missed um, Honedge. Honedge. Honedges. Oh, I yeah. Speak today. Uh, yeah. Dublade. 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 Oh, yeah. I think we I think we did miss talking about Dublade. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of like it. It seems cool. Um, yeah. Honestly, out of the entirety of the Pokemon that fall under the trope of just adding one more or two more to one... This it, has to be the best of them, I reckon. It has to be the best. This beats Magneton. It beats... Dugtrio here. It just beats all of them. Yeah. Uh, the only one thing I don't like about it is uh, the fact that it gets Sacred Sword. Oh, I don't know. I think that is really cool. But the only thing is, that was a you know exclusive move to Kabani and Trekking, Lucian and Keldeo. But oh, that's true. Gets it. Well, I don't know. It just kind of suits him, to be honest. Yeah, and... yeah, I can see that. But yeah, I don't know. It just seems a bit weird to me. But yeah. yeah. Also, um, a bit of a, um, a bit of a um. Clear up for my part. Sorry that I said Gigi. I meant to say Kling Clang. Sorry for using his Japanese name. Oh, I don't know why I said that. I still call him Sazendora sometimes. He's kind of very dumb. <laughs> I don't even... Yeah, I seem to switch between the English names and the Japanese names. Yeah. Um, I don't know how I missed that little mouse one. Zene? Oh, yeah. Do we Den have an English name of that? I think it's Dedene. I think it's still Dedene. It's pretty much the same when it comes to other Pikachu knockoffs like Kachirisu, Imolga. Um, oh, really? I know Plusle and Minen kind of changed their names, but still, they like to keep the Japanese names when it comes to those. Yeah. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much all we need to talk about. There's not much. There's not much else that's been revealed. Well, except for the leaks that have been coming out, which will we which we will not be covering. Well, I'll quickly do a mention, um, while some pictures appear up on the screen. Yes. Um, uh, I don't know where I saved the pictures to. Yes. Okay, well, no, oh, well, just some mega evolutions came out. Um, yeah. Pretty much Gengar and Aerodactyl get mega evolutions. Aerodactyl seems cool. I don't really like Gengar's one. Hmm. Um, and then there are also other evolutions, such as the evolution for Flabebe and an evolution for Helioptile. Hopefully they will get some more evolutions, because they do look pretty decent and like to see them taken further. 
And to coincide with that, we also have other two Pokemon that were revealed through the leaks, which we will which we will just mention. One is Horlucha, a hawk slash a uh, Mucha Lucha kind of guy, which is a little yeah, Lucha door, that's it. And and Binnacle, a very angry looking barnacle like Pokemon. I can't believe the name. It's like I know they have Credillion all, but these guys that it's like there's no there's no doubting. They're basically barnacles. I know a lot of people are gonna get angry at that, but yeah, they're just barnacles. Not much else to say about that. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to avoid, like, when they reveal the whole Pokedex thing. I kind of want to go into this game a little bit blind. Yeah. Um, Just so we can have, like, I mean, do you remember when you were a kid? Like, I remember when I was a kid, and, like, I had a book, and I was playing Pokemon Red and Blue for the first time. And I was stuck in the Safari Zone, and, like, you know, or, like, I was stuck around that part of the game because I didn't know you had to go get the golden teeth for the guy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I remember seeing like what was ahead and like, you know, not really knowing what it was, like, you know, with Seafoam Islands. Yeah. It didn't really say and like, you know, it still left that Giovanni, you know, was the head of Team Rocket and still yeah. the eighth gym leader. It didn't like spoil any of that stuff. Which yeah, I think I know wanting to have that feeling again. I don't know if that's possible, but yeah, I think I know what you mean when you say that. It's like, especially with the hype that Pokemon X and Y are getting, especially with so many of these Pokemon, it's like, part of me just felt like not really wanting to know what Pokemon were going to be revealed outside of the starter's basic evolutions and the um, version legendaries. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of happy that we have like a bit of insight to see where the game's going. But, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, who knows? Maybe when, maybe from now until the games are released, I might just get the games and wait for, I don't know, something like a Pokedex or a strategy guide that usually gets released around the same time. Get that so that when I do find a Pokemon, it's like, oh, so that's what it looks like. Or something yeah. along those lines. Yeah. I think, well, I know I want to try and finish the Pokedex in X and Y, and I'm not sure if I'll make a series after that. So I don't remember if I mentioned this last time, but like, I was going to try and do it with Red and Blue, or Fire, Red, and Leaf, Green, whichever one I decided on, um, about a month ago, but then it would have just got to the point that after the uh, main storyline stuff, it would have been like, you know, today we're going to grind Dratini up to 30 levels to evolve, and then, you know, tomorrow we do another 25 levels kind of thing. Yeah. There's not much to really go on, but I don't know, I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll record mm. it, maybe not. We'll see. Yes. But yeah, um, so thanks for joining us, and if you've listened to one or all of the speculation videos we've done, um, yeah, thanks for all the views. Uh, this is in no way our last video. I mean, it's probably our last speculation video unless something really, really crazy happens now and next Saturday, but yeah, yeah, we look forward to uh, everyone joining us in our adventures in the Kalos region and maybe for Spectation for Z or whatever comes next. I guess we'll yes. have to wait and see. And coincided with that, I hope all of you enjoy your purchase of Pokemon X and Y and all of you have a great time playing it as well. Yeah, um, so thank you for joining me, Joss, and uh, I'd thank Mitch, but he's not here, so thank you, Mitch, if you listen to this. <laughs> um, I've had a good time recording with you guys and yeah so don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and I'll post a video to the stream next weekend and yeah bye bye